I'd like to uh, nominate Al Peterson as president of the board. Second. David Evans Oops. as uh, vice president. Jimmy Ballantyne as treasurer. And Bill Deaver as secretary. So I'd like uh, to ask that uh, all four be unanimous, unanimously elected to these positions. Can I second now? Nominations be <laughs> And the uh, nominations be closed. All right, we have a motion from Director Painter, a second by Director Deaver. Uh, any questions from the board members? Any questions from the public? Well, in that case, then, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Motion carries unanimously. This, report. this is a report that shows the activity in the accounts, the cash accounts, the general checking account, the FAA checking account, the funds at the county treasury, and the funds that we have at the state and the late account. Um, we've increased the general account here, sorry, decreased the general account because of the transfer from the general account to the late account of 1.7. This is a reflection of the proceeds received from the wind energy activity. And so that brings the late balance up to 4.2 million. The general account remains healthy at 1.1 million. FAA is still through some grant funds there, 136000 In the county treasury, this is a uh, December report, and so this is a tax collection month, and that's why you see 248000 on tax proceeds in the county treasury, increasing that account to $635,600. Total cash funds at the end of December, $6,081,000. $716.30. I'd like to highlight that as uh, considering where we were sitting um, a few short months ago, that's a pretty positive looking number. Yeah, a lot of hard work there. Mike, I got, I got a question. Mm -hmm. um, on the FAA AIP account, how, how do we determine how much money we put in there and where does that money come from? There are two sources really for those funds. The, funds that come directly under the grants from the FAA, and then matching funds that we write checks from the general account and transfer them to the deposit. From the general account, okay. okay. As matching funds. Um, and then typically when when um, when the grants are all closed out, do we zero out that account or, or just leave it, some money it, there? It hasn't been. Okay. I, I can only look back at what I've seen. Um, I'm, I'm still pretty new here. Uh, and this, this account has not been zeroed out because there's been FAA activity yeah, for, we, for many years. We usually have something going on. Sequentially. Through. It's still going on. Yeah, okay. Let's confess. And so uh, I, I do recall it was something similar. Uh, a total of 268,005. Uh, much. The board has previously approved uh, the CEO, general manager, of signing this contract since it's less than $25,000. The final contract has come through, and I don't want to be sending it back again, and it has signatures of officers of the board. So the reason it's on the agenda today is instead of sending it back and forth to Utah again, I thought maybe we could just get the officers to sign it instead of my name on it signing for you. But this is a engineering services contract that I have requested with ATK. Since they have a safety committee that does services in the launch sector, uh, as required looking forward over the next couple of years, they can come do and do independent assessments of our uh, uh, mission preparation and launch ground activities just to give us a secondary set of eyes. That's all it is. There's no anticipated uh, funds being expended on this until needed as a cap of 24 9 and the only reason it's on the board is I want it here and after the board meeting, if we couldn't get a, a smooth copy before the officers and get them to sign it. You've already approved this contract. Okay. Uh, item. So what are you what are you looking for here? I when 
Carrie's going to bring a, a smooth contract out that you can sign. Okay, so it's on here just because you would like to have it yeah. signed. You, you've already approved me to sign it, but it came back with y'all's officer's signature blocks. Okay. Bob used to be the safety guy. Is that Kevin? That's Kevin. Oh. Okay. Item D. Uh, approval of an amendment to lease with Kern County. Uh, the, we must read the following. This project is exempt under CEQA Title 14 CCR Section 15301 and the Chief Executive Officer is authorized to file a notice of exemption as necessary. This is a lease extension running from 1 November 14 to 31 October 19 with Kern County on Building 2. Uh, this is routine in nature. The reason it's been trailed since October is because we, when you do business with Kern County, you have to use Kern County's lease. And the holdup is not on our side, it's just getting it through County uh, Council and uh, the CAO's office. So it's now ready for signing. And uh, I ask your approval. It's an uh, extension of a previous contract, five years with Kern County. Is that for the animal control bill? No, sir. That's for the. Hazardous waste disposal oh, 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 site. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So it needs a vote of approval and then uh, signatures. Okay. I need a motion for approval. Of the Move to approve. Second. Okay. Any questions from anybody about this lease? I assume she, you're recommending approval. I am. Okay. Any other questions? Any public comment? Okay. All in favor of approval of the amendment to lease with Kern County Building Two. Aye. 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 Okay. Any opposed? Well, uh, unanimous. By Richard Rutan. Mr. Rutan uh, 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 seeks to uh, uh, have new leases. One has, help me out here, Scott. I know one of them uh, ran out. It's been trailing on a month and month. Mm -hmm. And the second one is not yet run out, and I should know which one that is. Which one ran out? 919 hasn't run out. 919. Okay. 919. 969 and 939. That's 969. I believe, okay, 939 is the one that ran out. Okay. So this is routine in nature. It's uh, consistent with the leases we've offered to other tenants who own hangers on our dirt, when the lease runs out or they choose to renew, they renew at the current market rate, which is five cents per square foot. And I ask your approval on both. And they each come with a term of 15 years with three five-year options. And you're recommending approval? I am recommending approval. Okay. Move to approve both uh, item Z and F. A second. Second. Any questions? The board? Public comments? Okay, all in favor of approval items E and F. Leases with Mr. Rutan. Aye. Aye. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. Anybody opposed? No. Okay. Trial basis. The, the single camera, I want to say, ran us on the order of just south of $5,000. And we have put it in, we've installed it, we've done a, a comparative analysis on the clarity and use and operability from the, the remotely and from the two, two control points. Uh, we were very pleased. So I asked Mike what he needed for this year, and we currently have four in off. We have no uh, cameras in our in inventory that we could use. So I asked him for prices. Uh, we've received prices from our primary vendor of choice. And now that Kevin is back from travel, he came back yesterday, I asked him to take a look. And Kevin, how do you want to handle this matter today? Well, if there's any questions, I mean, uh, well, cameras, does anybody have any? Well, I, I, I did. I, I just wondered if it was a competitive bid. I'm familiar with cameras. I don't know which cameras we were using. It seemed on the high side. It, it, it is on the high side. Access is the premier IP camera. I mean, they're, they're the top of the line. I'm so, so familiar with So them. There, there's a lot, yeah, there's... There's much cheaper ones out there, mm -hmm. but a lot of them don't come with the three-year warranty or they don't have all the features like motion detecting and all, all the stuff that's related with that. And this one's, this is a, basically weather. This is really high temperature, really low temperature, winds, dust, fog. This is 
this is something that's meant to be outside. So it, it, it is on the higher end. Is this just material or is this installation? This is this is everything. This is everything. We'll, we'll be installing them. Chris will install the camera, so installation won't won't cost us any okay, money. Okay, so this is just for the material. It's all the material. Installation isn't a separate cost. And we need four. That's right. We need four. We we've, we've had four blank spots on our, if you go in, uh, well, I don't want to get too deep into security here in public, but we, we need four cameras currently. We haven't had any in inventory. We wanted to try this upgraded version to see if we liked the clarity compared to the others. We've done that. We, yeah. bought, we bought the first one? We, we bought, bought the first one, one. Try it out. Okay, try it out. And that one goes against the four? Or no, more? no. We, I, I purchased that and I notified you on that a okay. while back. Right. Uh, Chris installed it. We've been using it. Uh, the question was, did we do a competitive bid on this? And frankly, I didn't know the answer to that. No. It's not, it's not competitive. I, like I said, Axis is, they're the high end. So, I mean, you well, can Yeah, find but there are people that, uh, vendors that do sell <coughs> Axis, and I actually was one of my looked up and saw prices very Oh, okay, you mean competitive as as just of this one brand, then yes. We have looked at, you know, Amazon or other sites and contact other people. This is the, this was the cheapest oh, okay. we could get that, this actual. I thought you meant... I'm okay. not questioning the, your decision okay, on okay, the product, the just just on the, the, the yes, price you're paying. That has been done, contacting other vendors about the same camera. Okay. What's the lead time? Is, there a, is this a lead time item, or are they on the shelf? Available? Ten days. The shelf. Okay. Because I'm a little... So I'm, I'm guessing we got eight, because we need four... We're getting some extra ones to have backup. Al, uh, the cameras we have currently operating are 10 years old. They're, they're going to begin to fail over time. So I said, give me a price on eight cameras. We will use them. And if the board said you want to approve four and we come back every time we need one, that's fine too. But I'd, we're just trying to make some volume purchases where we can get a break. I can elaborate a little more on that. So there's four that currently don't work. But all these cameras are seven plus years old when they're put in. So there's a lot of them that they lose control. The controls are going out on other ones. Maybe they're not dead yet, but the controls are terrible. You can't, they go out, in and out. There's certain cameras that are very close to being gone. I think the quality has significantly improved in the last seven years. My, my only concern is with a 10 day lead time, not very long, three year warranty, we don't want them sitting on the shelf for two years before we use No, them. they're all going to, every last one of them is going to go in, all eight of them. All, all eight are going to be immediately installed. And can I can I expand on that a little bit? The camera part may be working, but he can't control it, so it's in a fixed position. We we get a little intoxicated on these things because it's nice to move them around. Another tenant may come in and say, "I'm <coughs> anticipating a problem. Would you put a camera on my building?" Uh, it's nice to have that flexibility for the tenants. Not all of them are mobile, some are now fixed because the drive units may be bad. It, I can get away with four because I have four blank holes in our control room on the cameras. But I'd rather have eight and get the mobility back and use them as required. I'd rather, I mean, I just wanna, I wanna see what we get that we install. I don't want the $4,000 units sitting on a shelf somewhere subject to theft. I agree. Uh, Okay, so you're saying uh, we can use all eight. We can use all eight. Okay. Motion to approve. Second. All right, any other questions? Reference to cameras? Public comment? Okay, all in favor of approval to purchase eight security cameras, $38,000. Aye. 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 Close to the same number. Uh, last night we had two Hornets fly in from Atlanta that couldn't get into Lemoore because of the fog. The second attempt, they couldn't as they came back, so they bought fuel twice. Uh, between the unexpected revenue and the two overnight hornets, uh, we found a way to cover the cost of, uh, of cameras. Uh, so that was part of my spiel, because usually I'm asked, where are you gonna get the money? Uh, the item H, uh, Draken is not spelled correctly, it has a K instead of C. Uh, the National Test Pilot School has offered to gift and or long-term loan the district a Draken aircraft that is, will have safe seats and pyrotechnics to be displayed at our discretion. We have held an internal meeting and like to put it out in front of the event center, start giving it some, some pizzazz. Uh, Mel has uh, got the assignment to find the concrete slab and the location. He presented that to me earlier today. 
and I just want to let you know that we'd like to accept that and appreciate the offer. Uh, we're going to have a, 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 a place for a plaque that to, uh, to identify who the gifting agency was to the district or who owns it. And I think it'd be a it's kind of bland out there right now. It'll just give it some destination and really think that's a great place. That's it. No other action required. How's, that, how's the paint job on it? It's excellent. It's excellent. And uh, it's been inside. We'll see how, <coughs> how, how well it looks yeah. after it's outside for a while. But the good news is that the, uh, at the event center there's water available to wash it once a year. I'd like to wash it a couple times a year and keep it clean. Yeah. No, I think we ought to kind of, if you will, decorate the place a little bit. Item I, uh, Southern California Edison is an easement. In order to hook that up, it's per the attachment in your packet. Has my approval, I ask, uh, has my recommendation for approval. Any questions? The tenant's paying um, for this connection? Yes. All right. Cool. Glad to see the place get powered up. Yeah, I'll, I'll move to approve. Item I. We met with uh, Mark Deering. Um, I think you know, I'm gonna let Dave know most of this. But our, our our number one question was, where are we at with the audit? Um, if there's anything you need from us, um, our answer was uh, um, our question was answered. They are anticipating August September of this year to be complete, which uh, kind of surprised us. Um, David will probably elaborate a little bit on, on why that is, and we have some possible um, suggestions to maybe help um, so that we're not waiting on, on them, tell me waiting, or, so that they're not waiting on us. And uh, David, why don't you um, talk a little bit more about them? Um, um, Do you prefer to talk about it, Mr. Carlos? Yeah, that's a bit surprising to me in August, September for. Well, I, I think part of it is because of the, the time of year that it is right now, with the tax season, uh, it tends to slow um, these type of businesses down a bit. Um, but there is some unanticipated uh, things that came up that I think Mike is working on. Um, the committee has met with the um, staff on this and um, made a couple suggestions, and I think we're looking to get uh, the management uh, to support our suggestions and maybe direct a little more effort. Um, to move forward with some of the things that, um, that they're needing. When did the audit officially start? Probably would have been the day that they first came out to... Uh, uh, I think it's in here. They gave us a... Uh, gave us a uh, or July, <coughs> July? July... Of last year. It just says July 2000. Performed their plenary work in August. I had an opportunity to meet with Mike, this Mike, and uh, asked just some questions last week, and then, we, of course, we met with the auditor today, just Mr. Ballantyne and myself as representatives of the board, and essentially, they have done some preliminary work necessary to start the audit, and at this, at this moment in time, they're still waiting on uh, numbers for 2012, 13, and 14. I believe they got the numbers for 2011. Am I right in that? They have numbers for they 2011, have, but they have already changed. Okay, so they have preliminary numbers for 2011. <coughs> They're still waiting for numbers for 2012, 13, 14. Um, what appears to, in talking with the auditor and Mr. Bouse, one of the sticking points is fixed assets um, of the district. And some of those assets, my understanding, uh, there were federal funds spent, and they're subject to uh, special audit. <clears throat> and hence, Michael is having to spend some significant time in addressing those issues for the last four years. And my correct. You know, and 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 once again, we talked about this with the auditors, so we have the the narrative from both the auditor standpoint and staff standpoint. Uh, we were <coughs> told originally that we believe, the staff believed that they would get the information to the auditor, all the information to the auditor in the November, December time frame, and the auditor would be able to pretty much wrap it up. Uh, but of course now we're getting to tax season, and the auditor told us today that 
essentially nothing can happen on the audit January, February, March, April because they're they're tied up with tax season. So it'll be May before they can really throw the time at it necessary. The question becomes, uh, are we going to have the information ready for them in May and complete? That's that's the question. That concern was addressed by Mr. Valentine and myself in the meeting with the staff on the committee. And we it was our suggestion that they put all the efforts necessary, including extra time and maybe bodies, to get this knocked out sooner rather than later. Uh, primarily because we don't want to come into a situation where, well, we have uh, February, March, April to get it together, and we don't want it. What we don't want, what we don't want to happen is we get to April and say, well, we still aren't complete. We'd rather be complete and have everything be out here as soon as possible in the February, March time frame so that we know that come May when they're out of tax season that the audit can be completed without delay. That's the committee's recommendation to the board and the staff. Did I, did I hit all the elements? Yeah, I think so. Um, uh, I think uh, Mike had a little bit extra um, on his plate um, when uh, Karina had taken her leave for maternity leave. And she uh, offered Mike to take that. Uh, was it, I think it was the prep for the board meetings and stuff with the financials to take that off his plate to help him. But I think our recommendation is 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 to, in a sense, give Mike whatever he needs. If it's if it's more time you need to put towards it, uh, I would like to see it, it it move forward. And if he needs extra staff to. Um, to support his efforts. Um, I want to be ahead of this, <coughs> not be reactive to it. Well, unfortunately, we're already reactive to it. Well, so I know that's, that's where we're at. That's, that's why we're <coughs> where we, we are. We are where we're at, and we can, we can with some members, I think we can move forward and get ahead. I don't. All right, so what I'm hearing then is <coughs> assuming all our data is ready by May to give to the auditors. Then they will be able to wrap it up by August, September. But they said August or September. I would plan on September. Um, so after, so they still need uh, five months after we give them all the data. So they don't. So we burned. We've spent a lot of time prepping things, but we haven't made much actual progress because we're still prepping data. So that's basically the outcome here. I'm a little disturbed by the comment. We can do nothing. During tax, tax season, coming from the auditor, that's a little perplexing. Although, I, maybe that's based on the fact that we don't have anything ready for them to go. But if that's to be the case, then we need to maybe reevaluate the auditor. Thanks, but uh, it really was, it really was. We've got some, and, it, and it's well, so rags are riches. Yeah. <laughs> it's well. It's also it's about the. I've been saying this for years. The serendipity and all the stuff that goes on at this airport. Somebody starts a project and he's got all kind, he or she has all this available to him or her to try to get this thing accomplished. And did you read Allison's story in the paper? Yeah. It's just almost a, it's something you use to sell this airport and sell what's on this airport. Uh, it, it's really a stunning uh, testimony to what goes on here. Any other uh, director's comments? Uh, I appreciate the board taking my recommendation as far as uh, officers. I think that uh, everyone is going to do an excellent job this next year. And uh, your talents are well presented here. That's it. Thank you. Anybody else? I approved expenditures this last uh, period. I uh, two legal counsel fall getter 1787 and change uh, <coughs> Cortel 1200 RB development uh, replacing the pappies on runway 26 that have been partially in off for months 7500 fire department <coughs> emergency medical supplies for our go kits 1094 and change. And uh, just a brief report on pump house expenditures aborted previously approved 250,000 or current 
uh, expenditures 218 and we're processing the final invoices now. I don't expect going over the 250. Any questions? <clears throat> Can you just give us a two minute feedback on we bought the truck, the four wheel drive truck? Yep. Can you just give us two minute feedback on uh, how that's going? Yeah, it's going great. Uh, it, it, it's, it's excellent. Uh, it's even been in four wheel drive a couple of times, to tell you the truth, in these rainstorms slipping and sliding out in the desert uh, and on the airport. The box is in the back, the lights are on, and still it doesn't have the radios. And Chris tells me that, that should be next week. Uh, and then it'll be an all up round for off property or on property. Um, that's it. It's an it's except, exceptional truck. Okay, so exceeding expectations? Yes. <laughs>